Crypto Friends and Dex Tools community. If you are using Dex Tools, you might have heard about Dexforce Ventures, an exclusive project apart from Dex Tools. The Dexforce is a private group of crypto investors who invest in early stage projects. A professional team is evaluating projects Dexforce members can invest in and have done very well so far. In the last video, well presented Faraland, which was one of the Dexforce investments. Now I want to dive into Decentraweb, a project which recently launched its utility token. Before I start, I want to remind you to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button that you don't miss out on upcoming Dexful Academy videos. Some people call it the new internet and I can say indeed it's kind of a revolution in the DNS space. On their website, they claim that Decentraweb is a decentralized implementation of, of the DNS base layer protocol on the Ethereum blockchain, committed to taking back the internet one layer at a time. What means that Decentraweb aims to transform the internet and domain name system, in short DNS, by allowing anyone to permissionlessly create their own top-level domain and own it permanently on the Ethereum blockchain. After purchasing a TLD, the ownership is being transferred in form of an NFT, an ESC721 token on Ethereum. Subdomains will also be issued in form of NFTs and you can transfer the ownership as well as you can with your TLD. If you want to see visually how your purchase TLD look like, you can do that on OpenSea. There are some TLDs for sale which have been registered already. TLDs are interesting for a wide range of users. For example, corporations and businesses can buy and own a completely custom top-level domain, like .tesla, .apple or .bob appliances. Hereby is to take notice that if you're an ape and thinking about flipping a nice .tesla or .apple domain, I must disappoint you now. Decentralweb is working with ICANN, and if ICANN version of a domain name has already been registered, it's not possible to buy the domain on DWeb. If you try to register an already owned TLD, the smart contract will verify you own the domain by asking you to add a text record to this domain DNS with a random string DWeb provides you. If you can't update the existing DNS record, registration won't continue. This is a way the central web can actually work with top level brands and companies and get them into the DWeb ecosystem. These central web TLDs are also the right approach for freedom seekers and privacy enthusiasts. They never need to worry about censorship or removal of their domains and content while providing pseudonymous ownership. A good example for that is the independence referendum in Catalonia an autonomous community in the east of Spain who wanted to be independent from Spain. The Spanish government uh, tried everything to block information and their election websites. So they moved their whole website to IPFS. Uh, by the way, the IPFS, Interplanetary File System, is a protocol and peer-to-peer -peer network for storing and sharing data in a distributed file system, a decentralized storage and file referencing system for Ethereum. So Spanish government blocked the gateway to the website, but people could still access through other nodes by simply using the IPFS link. Here you can see the tweet from Puigdemont who shared um, the election link on Twitter. Just the do domain looks awful. Uh, Catalonia would have loved to use a DWeb top-level domain um, at that time, like for example elections.catalunya. Also for individuals, a DWeb TLD is useful. Anyone can purchase his own name or keywords for TLDs. Once registered, you can create associated subdomains. A new big thing which just released a few days ago are the emoji TLDs. You can literally buy an emoji for deploying it later to a website. For example, with this little whale here I got, you can literally link a website to, for example, ethereum. the little whale emoji. <laughs> the web just started, so there will be many more things to come. The possibilities are unlimited. Essentially, anyone can earn some extra money or start an own business, buy a TLD and sell subdomains companies like GoDaddy and Unstoppable Domains do. 
You can sell or rent the subdomains. The choice is yours. Hold, use or trade your TLD NFT. And last but not least, the stakers. Stakers are users who lock their tokens to earn passive returns on sales of products and services and those who operate DNS nodes on the Decentral Web network. Um, those who hold DWeb tokens can stake their tokens and earn a return on the staked amount. There are two different income streams for stakers, which is on the one hand income from the DWeb token, that means proceeds for all domain hosting and other sales of products and services, which will be distributed to stakers. And on the other hand, the fees from trading or transferring the DWeb token. Taking a look at the fees breakdown, we can see that there will be a 10% fee on every trade. This fee is being used for the long-term viability of the token. It is used to improve um, liquidity and incentivize token holders and stakers. So breaking it down, 20% of the uh, trading fee is sent to DWeb token stakers, 25% sold to ETH and used for LP in DWeb ETH pool, 25% um, is paired with the ETH in the DWeb ETH LP pool and 30% is sent to the liquidity provider stakers. Now let's take a look at the tokenomics. As I said before, the DWeb token is a utility token, so it plays a significant role in the decentral web ecosystem. The token is being used for payment for products and services, governance, DNS validator nodes, staking and more. The distribution you can see here in this chart. So every time someone purchases a, a top level domain, the amount will be distributed as in the chart. 5% uh, is being burned, 5% sent to the DAO treasury, 10% sent to the Decentral Web treasury, 35% will be sent to DWeb token stakers and 45% to those who provide liquidity and are staking their LPs. Um, the return has been really good so far. Um, about $37,000 has been sent to stakers um, the last time. Um, the reason why I'm not wondering at all um, that there's already 1.3 million uh, DWeb staked as you can see here on the dashboard. The Central Web has built a perfect executive and advisory team with extensive experience in the domain DNS security and blockchain space with team members hailing from GoDaddy, Intel, Dow Jones, Microsoft, Dell, ServiceNow, Bloomberg, HP, T-Mobile, TrustSwap, CoinMarketCap and others. All team members are linked to their LinkedIn profiles, which you can check out here on the Decentral Web webpage. Taking a look at the roadmap, we see here um, that we are at Q3 2021. Decentral name DNS registrations for TLDs and subdomains as ERC 721 NFTs. In Q4 2021, the testnet will go live so that in Q1, 2022, the Decentra DNS mainnet can launch. In Q2 2022, the Decentra host launch on IPFS is planned, um, which will be the time that allows users to host websites, content, and more on their Decentra name. Uh, in Q3 2022, Decentra mail will launch on IPFS, allowing users to host mail on their Decentra name. So you will be able to use, for example, emoji addresses containing emojis like, for example, mooncat at whale emoji. <laughs> In Q4 2022, the Decentral Place, the largest aftermarket NFT domain marketplace launches and allows users to buy and sell any uh, NFT TLD or SLD for minimal cost. You see, the Central Web is a huge project which will change the internet significantly and provide privacy and freedom of content. Um, by the way, I also think we could maybe see wallet addresses containing the Central Web names in the future, like for example, my name, my whale, an ape, or pet the frog. Uh, so you can send me some ETH to my wallet emoji or the subdomain mooncat.whale emoji instead of copy pasting the long hash containing loads of letters and numbers. Um, 
This is nothing official, just my guess, and I think it's very possible. So let's see if we will be able to use this feature in the future. For those who want to purchase a domain name now, I will quickly show you how to do that. So you go to the Decentral web, web page, then click on register domains, then choose the domain name you want. And search it. You see here it's available. So here, if you pay with ETH, you pay the normal price. And if you pay with DWeb, you get a 50% discount on it. Pay with DWeb. And then I request to register. You just saw the process of purchasing a TLD on Decentraled is so easy that even non-crypto savvy users can register their own domains and subdomains. So have fun choosing and purchasing your TLDs and see you on the next video.